It was supposed to be the weapon of the future, a gun that could fire projectiles at seven times the speed of sound without using a single ounce of gunpowder. The U.S. Navy's railgun promised to change naval warfare forever, and then it vanished. The railgun works by using electromagnetic force instead of explosives. Massive electrical currents accelerate a solid metal slug down twin rails, hurling it at hypersonic speeds. The result? A projectile that could hit targets over 100 miles away in under two minutes. Punching through armor with sheer kinetic energy. No explosives needed, no smoke, and a fraction of the cost of missiles. By the mid-2010s, test videos wowed the public. Sparks flying, slugs screaming downrange at impossible speeds. The Navy envisioned ships armed with railguns replacing some missile systems entirely, but behind the scenes, problems were mounting. The weapon's sheer power destroyed its own firing rails after just a few shots, requiring constant replacement. The energy demands were enormous, needing power levels few warships could generate. And while the projectiles were cheaper than missiles, the research, development, and maintenance costs ballooned into the hundreds of millions. Then came a hard truth. Missile technology was advancing faster than the railgun could. Hypersonic missiles could hit farther and maneuver in flight, something the railgun's solid slugs could never do. By 2021, the Navy quietly shifted funding away from the railgun, focusing instead on missile defense and directed energy weapons like lasers. The railgun wasn't canceled outright, but it faded into the background, a futuristic promise undone by real-world limitations. For now, the railgun is a cautionary tale. In warfare, being revolutionary isn't enough. You have to be practical, reliable, and ready before the next war begins.